Hi right, guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about audio. Right now I'm using the microphone that's directly built into the iPhone 13 Pro and I'm going to be looking at a couple of microphone options today. This is just one of the uh, two that I'm going to be using and I want to find out is it worth going out and spending lots and lots of money on a microphone and in what circumstances may you want to add a microphone to your phone to make the audio quality any better. That's if you think it is any better. Let's hear the difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by using um, the Rode VideoMic Pro, which is this big hefty looking thing right here. Um, it is quite big and you do have to put it on like a tripod. I'll show you in a second. Okay, guys, I'm now using the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now, I'm going to leave it in if it happens, but I want to pre-warn you of something that this microphone is prone to. So, the audio quality, I think, is noticeably, noticeably better, if I could say it. It is better. It does add more richness to the tone of the voice. However, because I don't know if it's because it's battery powered, but for some reason, this microphone, I do tend to find, picks up interference if by too many other electrical products. Now, it is actually set amongst quite a few electrical products, so you may hear some of that interference starting to happen. That is one downside. But take away that surrounding and put it somewhere more suited, then it's going to be a lot better. Now, the other upside to a microphone like this is the fact it comes with a dead cat. Um, so obviously you can put the dead cat on and then you've got really nice, crisp, clear audio out, even in windy conditions, because that's what this thing does. It helps stifle the wind. And then obviously it's much more enjoyable experience for the person listening, especially if they've got headphones on. The only issue with this, with the new iPhone 13 Pro, is the lenses are so wide that you can see it when it's on. You can actually see overhanging, the big fluffiness. You can just see it at the top, which is annoying. Um, I wish that didn't happen, but it does, especially with the ultra-wide angle lens. So, it's £150 for this microphone. Listening to the microphone on the iPhone, built in, just, and this one now, do you think it's worth the increase? Or would you be happy to just sit and EQ uh, the audio from the microphone that's built in? Because you can do that as well. Uh, is it worth the £150? Let me know in the comments section. Let me know what you think. Now we're going to move on to the Rode VideoMic Me L. And I'm going to show you this mic um, compared to the £150 mic. This one's about 70 So let's see what this one sounds like. Okay guys, so this is the Rode Video Mic Me L. The L just simply stands for lightning bolt. It works with the iPhone. You can buy these with the adapters that sit on top of the phone. Um, and the great thing about these first off is they're not battery powered. They plug straight in so you don't need to keep changing batteries. The downside is this is my case. It's a very robust case. I love this brand of case. They're called SpyGen. I'm not sponsored by them, but I'd like to be. Uh, they are very, very good. The problem is I have to take the case off to plug the microphone in because the bottom stops me from plugging the microphone all the way into the insert. When the phone is on its cr on this cradle that I've got it on now, I'm not so concerned because I've got a good grip of the phone. Uh, but if I was to drop it, I would be a little bit concerned that this wasn't on. So that is the downside. However... It is far more portable than the microphone that I was just using, which I'll, I'll show you now, which is this thing, which is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now, the, the trouble with this microphone is, is, is it's long. There's a big wire that's attached to it. You've got to plug that in. And me as a mobile video creator, I want the smallest setup possible, but I also understand the importance of audio. So I am personally very impressed with the new microphone built into the iPhone. Um, but this little mic here, I think, is the one I would use the most out of the two microphones. I, in fact, I'll probably use this most of the time. But a lot of the time when I'm just out and about and something happens, am I going to be okay with just using the mic that's built into the iPhone? I think I am. I'm already doing it. I'm already using this microphone anyway. I'm very happy with the quality of it. But if I wanted to do something that was maybe a little bit more serious or maybe I'm outdoors then I'm probably going to use this microphone because first of all, it's directional and it allows me to be able to speak directly into the mic 
it doesn't pick up so much background noise and the other great thing about it is it does come with a dead cat a very small one which doesn't show when you've got the lenses on so that's the upsides to using that microphone now like i say the main downside for me and the only downside for me is i can't use it when i'm using this case it's tiny it fits in your pocket if there was a way of me being able to fit it in without having to take this case off every time it would quite literally be on the phone attached almost permanently because I just think it's so much better. Let me know in the comments section whether you think that this mic is much better than the one that's built into the phone, but I personally think I can tell a big difference when I use this. And I actually think that the audio quality in this microphone, the smaller one, is as good as the bigger microphone. The only difference being is if I was a bit further away, I don't have the added option of a plus 20 dB uh, boost. So... And I don't have a low pass filter either because that is another option on the Rode Video Mic Pro. Uh, but again, if I had to, I would be happy to do a very quick adjustment on the EQ, uh, which I'll show you how to do in another video to get the best out of your phone. Do you need a microphone to vlog with the new iPhone 13 Pro or most phones after, say, the iPhone 8? No, not really. In the right settings, I think the microphone in the phones is plenty good enough. But if you're going to be somewhere where it's going to be a little bit noisier, I would, I personally, I would invest in one of these mics, which, which obviously I have done, um, because they just tend to give you crisper audio in noisier environments and windier environments. So let me know what you think, but please do think about audio. It is very important when making videos. Last thing you want is to put a set of headphones on and have some awful, tinny, horrible noise in your ears. No one wants that. So there you go. That's that's audio. Well, that's pretty much covered, I think. I am in some future videos going to be looking at some much cheaper alternative microphones uh, that are made. I've been having a look on Amazon uh, today to see if there's any that I could buy. Um, there's a really cheap one made by Boya. Um, that is, I know is a good brand, but I just want to try out their microphones. It's half the price of this one. And I've also seen another one by a Chinese brand that I've never heard of. But people keep raving about it, and it's like 20 quid. So I'm going to give that a go as well, and I'll let you know how I get on in a future video. Thanks for watching. Again, if you like the video and it helps you, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like, comment, get in touch. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like me to make. I'm just really enjoying making these videos for you. So, yeah, let's help each other out. Catch you again soon. Bye.